Does wind affect the way that the egg performs? We're going to find out today. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another week of The Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. Hey, you know I'm a big fan of grilling, right? Ah, ha, ha. The winds of change are in the air. So we're going to find out today if wind really affects the temperature control on the egg. If it does, I have some great ways to solve that problem. But if it doesn't, we'll know we're in good shape. We are going to fill this thing up with our black bag premium charcoal today. We're going to use this because it burns nice and even. The bigger stuff, the yellow bag, is such big chunks, sometimes you get big air gaps in there. We don't want that. We want to get a true measure of everyday cooking, how the wind will affect this thing. So Kamado cookers, like big green eggs work, is that on the bottom, they intake air. That's where you where your fire is fed, through the bottom vent. Well, if you have a real windy day, is that going to affect it? Is it going to make the temperature spike up? Is it going to get it rolling? So what we want to find out is if natural conditions like the wind is going to affect the temperature of your egg. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this set at 250 degrees, then we're going to put a fan in front of it and see if that's going to make it go up. Just to let you know where we're at here, we got this to 250 degrees and we let it burn for about a half an hour now, maintaining a steady temperature at 250. What I'm going to do now is click this fan on, let this go for a little while. We're going to check back in about another half hour and see, has it changed the temperature at all? Has it not? For my vent settings, I got the vent settings open about two fingers width down the bottom and about two fingers width on top, and it's burning at a steady 250. Many tic tacs later. Well, interestingly enough, we had a whole different scenario that I didn't kind of consider. What happened here now? We're about almost 40 minutes into this, and what it did is it jumped at 50 degrees. So it went from 250 to 300 degrees, took a little bit of time to go up, and as the wind blew in there, it made the temperature go up. But what happened is it stopped there. It stopped at 300 degrees. So with this amount of wind, I guess that with the amount of charcoal we have in here, the maximum it was going to get to is 300 degrees because it's been pretty steady there for a while. With these vent settings like this, that's what's going to happen here. Now, let me show you some ways that you can prevent the wind from affecting your cooking in your Kamado grill. Now, the first way you can change this from having the wind affecting your cooking too much is just simply changing your vent settings. If you set your bottom vent like this, you're obviously not going to allow as much air to come in. So you're gonna have to open up the top vent a little bit more. But with just this little sliver right here, you'll be able to run at 250 or 275 degrees all day long, no matter what the windy conditions are. Now, the way that we did it is we had our vent settings exactly like this, which is keeping the heat inside the egg. With the bottom vent closed more now, we can open this up and it's gonna allow that air to come out of here more. So it's gonna hold less heat. So the wind is gonna come in maybe, but it's gonna affect it a lot less and it's gonna control your temperature a lot better with a vent setting like this. That's the way to do it manually. Now, if you wanna jump into the new century and use some technology, there's great ways to control your temperature like that too. I'm gonna to show you two different products that we have that are available that you can use that are gonna control your temperature and no matter what the windy conditions are, are gonna keep that temperature really steady. First one here is made by Thermoworks, it's called Billows. And these both are gonna work in the same basically basic principle. To use this Billows, you always wanna make sure this side is gonna be down. So this is how it's gonna sit in the egg like this. So we're gonna put our little clips in here, okay, as such. Get a position so that these little clips fit into these grooves, just like that, and our foam is in place perfectly, so we have an airtight seal. Now this is gonna mount into the egg. Pretty cool the way that it hooked up, right? So what you do then is you just plug it into your signals or your smoke, whatever other Thermoworks thermometer you have that's compatible with it. You're gonna plug it in here, you're gonna, you're gonna plug it in, you're gonna get a dome temperature on the inside, we're gonna have, it has a clip for that. It's got one that goes into your meat, so it's gonna go up to three different meats with this. So it's gonna be able to do that. And what'll happen is as it's monitoring that temperature of your dome and, and you, about the grate, it's gonna kick that fan motor on and blow air in as you need it. So if it starts to drop, your temperature starts to drop, it's gonna blow that air and you're gonna get increase in temperature and it'll keep it steady at 250 degrees. Beautiful thing. This next way is very similar to the last one, but this one has a variable speed fan and it's got a couple different options to it. You also don't need a separate thermometer to go with it. So this one's the Flame Boss 400. Again, there'll be a link below in the description. It's also available on our website at fogocharcoal.com. It does the same type of thing. It's gonna ma maintain the proper amount of airflow to maintain a steady temperature in there. So this one hooks in real easy as well. Kind of a similar way to, as the last one. But once you have that mounted, there's a little lip right here that just mounts up underneath here like that and just sits in there just like that. So this is gonna plug into a wall or an outlet, then you're gonna have one cord comes out, it's gonna be your temperature, the other ones are gonna be for monitoring your meat temperatures. Pretty, pretty cool. Now I think we've learned some pretty interesting things today. A, the wind will definitely affect the temperature in your big green egg or your Kamado grill. It's definitely gonna make it rise up. If you have enough steady wind, we only did this, like I said, for about a half hour, but I have a feeling if it was blowing on it like that for quite a while, it's gonna really make those temperatures spike. 
So we have three different ways to control our temperatures though. Now, we have the manual way, which is controlling your vent settings. Make, close that bottom one most of the way, you're gonna have a lot better luck. We also showed you two different ways to control using technology. Woohoo! it's a whole new day, folks. My dad would be out of his mind. But anyway, so I hope that this was very helpful for you. I, I got to answer the question. I wasn't sure if the wind would really be strong enough to affect this thing. It's good to know that yes, it absolutely does. If you're in a windy condition, you're going to have temperature control issues. So hope that these ways that we showed you how to help them will help you. And remember to get out and grill, and I'll see you the next time on The Fogo Life.